What's up? What it do? Cyber World. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Brown. And this is the Ash Said It Show. Over 1,900 episodes since 2014 and growing. Half a million streams worldwide. All of that is on account of you guys. So thank you so, so very much for all the shares, all the cares. It makes a huge difference. And... I get to talk to pretty phenomenal people, all right? So my next guest is pretty awesome, and not just because he sent me a bottle of his good, good stuff. I am talking about Dan O'Shevlin from Triple Dog Irish Whiskey. Hey, Dan. (laughs) Hello, Ash. How are you? I am great. How are you today? I'm doing well. Doing well, as always. Thank you for asking. Thank you. So, Dan, to get things started... How did you come about, where did the idea come for this very delicious, very suave, and and very chill Irish whiskey come from? Well, I can't take all the credit myself, Ash. (laughs) Um, This came from my grandfather uh, back in 1916 when he first developed the formulation for this in Ireland. Mm. Um, And through his travels back and forth from Ireland to the United States, he had a dream of always creating an Irish whiskey uh, for the U.S. to be marketed. Mm-hmm. But when, uh, when Prohibition hit in 1919, that, that kind of put everything on hold. Right. So he went back, he was over in Ireland, opened up a pub, making his juice in the back um, <laughs> as he usually did, and then at home as well. <laughs> what uh, luck or unluck, unlucky for him, mm-hmm. uh, my grandfather passed away before he ever saw his dream uh, come to fruition. Oh, so my father one day was uh, cleaning out the basement and, and getting rid of all of his personal belongings that, you know, were cluttering up the, the basement. And he came across the shoebox. And in that shoebox, there were some carbon chain formulations. Uh, my background is in biochemistry. So my mm. father asked me if I knew what it was. And I said, uh, I do. That's a carbon chain formulation for whiskey. And this is one for vodka. Mm. And he goes, well, <laughs> I'm going to throw it in the trash. I go, no, no, don't throw it in the trash. I said, he goes, you and your grandfather and your chemistry and everything else. He goes, he goes I've got no room for it. He says, but uh, if you want it, you can have it. And I said, well, of course I want it for a keepsake. Yeah. So I, yeah. So I kept it for a while. And uh, when I... You know, passing this thing over and over again, I kept it up on a mantle. Mm. And uh, looking at it on the daily and for years, and then finally one day I thought to myself, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little time and research the industry and see what this is all about, and see if I can maybe bring my grandfather's dream to fruition. Mm. And uh, but in that time frame, in researching the industry and found out what it takes license-wise and, and what I needed to do to prepare to be a distiller and a master distiller, I visited uh, different distilleries all over the place, uh, mm-hmm. all over Ireland, all over the U.S., asking people to teach me how to make whiskey. Mm-hmm. I did that for a couple of years, slowly but surely gaining more and more confidence in my in my quest to to be a distiller, a master mm-hmm. distiller. So um, as an apprentice, you know, working under uh, very, very good dis- uh, master distillers, learning all their techniques and then introducing some of my own from my lab days in school, mm-hmm. uh, came up with something really unique and special to where uh, one day we were doing a pub crawl in Ireland <laughs> and one of the uh, master distillers um, brought up the uh, challenge as if anybody could come up with a whiskey that didn't taste like Irish whiskey. Because in Ireland, you have to follow a certain formulation mm-hmm. to get the Irish Whiskey Association to stamp it with the IWA stamp and the AG stamp saying, hey, this is Irish whiskey made in Ireland. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they followed certain formulation, but you have a little bit of a 5% leeway there that you can do things a little uniquely. And uh, so the challenge got put out. We were doing a pub crawl, like I said, in Dublin, and it was about six of us. And um, so the challenge came out, and somebody dared somebody. A a double dog dare came out, and then uh, (laughs) uh, 
uh, it came back to me. Like one said to me, "Well, I triple dog dare you to do it because you're the new kid on the block." <laughs> I think, oh, why don't we all do it and take a challenge, and we'll meet here one year from now, one year of curation in a cast, mm. and see which uh, a uh, an IWA stamp and uh, still get the uh, the accolades of being a true Irish whiskey, and we'll do a blind taste. <laughs> so one year from then, we came back and took the challenge, and I won. Ooh. And the triple dog dare, I triple <laughs> dog dare. So take the dare. Don't be afraid to be bold. Be different. Step out of the box. Don't get in a lane, but make your own lane. So that's what I do is make my own lane within the space of Irish whiskey to come up with something new and different that didn't taste like Irish whiskey. And it, right. You said you tried it when I, the bottle that we sent you. Oh, yeah. It's it, it, creme brulee, toasted yeah. caramel, cracked mm. vanilla bean, mm -hmm. cracked walnuts, front end note mm. with a sick finish. Yes. And that leaves Alec wondering, what did I just drink? And so... <laughs> required to take another sip yes. <laughs> in order to find out what it was and you just over and over again rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and it's uh it's so the one thing that keeps coming back to us when i go out and do my bottle signings and do my uh meet the founder nights throughout uh all around the u.s yeah. the, the number one thing that said to me is oh my goodness i cannot believe this is irish whiskey it's so smooth mm -hmm. and it, humbled by that and you can give me your take on that because you've actually tried it and had it and i think some other people that you know have tried it as well and it just it's smooth and it doesn't have that bite and this is one dog that doesn't bite <laughs> <laughs> yes i would definitely have to say like it was it was the smoothest irish whiskey that i've had and like you said, it doesn't have that. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's just so like, you know, it's burning my throat. But it was just, it was very smooth. And then you got the different notes. You got the vanillas yeah. in there. You got the, the caramel. You, your taste, you're getting all of those flavors. And it was just the most amazing experience because I've never had an Irish whiskey that was that, that original. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm humbled by that remark yes. and by everybody's remarks of telling me how smooth it is. And yeah. I've never felt so much humility than I have when I've done and passion that mm. I act, that I have for this industry since I've started this industry and anything else I've ever done. Yeah. I'm humbled by the response that people have when they drink this and come back and just look at me with this this look on their face. <laughs> and they, I just I can't believe this is Irish whiskey. And I go, they go, we really knocked it out of the park. And, you know, it, instead of coming away with my head unable to fit through the door, I, I, I'm humbled by that because I put so much and poured so much of myself into this, trying to uh, invoke the spirit of my grandfather and all of the uh, ingredients and everything that we do in the mash bill the way it's distilled, the way that it's cured, and then my blending process. And when I'm in my lab, I'm uh, invoking uh, the spirit of my grandfather to please help me blend this to perfection that everybody would enjoy. And not for the classes, but for the masses. Yes. And we have other stuff coming out for the classes later that I would talk about Ooh. here in a few minutes, but... This stuff for the masses. I wanted everybody to enjoy it. And we got a 94-point rating from a judge yeah. from Whiskey Little World. Now, that to me what said spoke volumes. And yeah. said, wow, that was humbling experience. And uh, when we did that, some of these retailers had come back and asked me to raise the price to an $80 or an $89. They just drinks like an $89 bottle of whiskey, and that's what we should be selling it for. And I said, absolutely not. My grandfather would roll over in his grave because this is something for everybody. Right. And you, We have something for those people later coming out that I have been working on for a while. I've been doing this for over 20 years now. Wow. and. We've got a uh, a fantastic. I may let the cat out of the bag tonight. Um, I, I've got a twelve year coming out mm. and a 
founder's reserve that I've been keeping back for myself from the very first days I've been making it. And I've got a 21 year. Mm -hmm. We're going to in Q1 of next year. Yes. So those two big items I've been keeping under wraps for mm. a special one. <laughs> and they're just going to be a limited edition of a thousand cases of each to be spread around the United States. And we're wow. still working on the price point of that. We don't want to, you know, we want the margins to work for everybody, the retailers and the distributors yeah. and the everybody. And then the consumer of all needs to have a price where they can go and this really is something that I want to have on my shelf. Yeah. So we're in the process now of finalizing the final bottle design and the, you know, the box that is going to come in. and It's something special. I'm going to have my signature on it. It's something that I think you're going to uh, really, really like. Yes. Well, uh, I, I will put out there, Dan, that um, I'm going to need for you to come back on the show when that release is getting ready to drop because I like exclusives. I like to be the first to tell people about things. <laughs> okay. That's a deal. That's a deal. So, I'll be happy to do that for you. Okay. All right, I'm just putting it out there. And, you know, shout out to Whiskeys of the World. You know, that is one of the most prolific events that, you know, now we're, we're post-COVID and we're trying to get back into the swing of things. So congratulations to you and your team for getting that, um, for getting that award and that, getting that, you know, that recognition from them because that's huge. That, that's a huge, Thank you. huge achievement because they don't give those things out too lightly. <laughs> I've been a no. several times. They're, they're really when awesome I saw, with that. When I saw the company I was keeping and the people that I have actually surpassed, mm. I was shocked. I was actually, again, I, it never ceases to amaze me the amount of humility that I feel and how humbled I am mm. by these accolades because it, it's, you pour so much of yourself into it, and you just imagine if everybody hated it. You oh, feel okay. depressed. <laughs> but I know what I like, and to have everybody else come back and say things to me of you know notes that they're grabbing from this, of notes that were not intended, right. but are in, but they're in there because the way that I blended it, there was so much more. I'm just giving you the the highlights of what's in there because my mm. favorite dessert of all time is creme brulee. Yeah. And if, if I'm at a restaurant, I will go right to the dessert menu first. And if it's <laughs> on the menu, not leave without ordering a creme brulee. <laughs> now this is a true story to the point where if it's on the menu, I've so many times I've eaten and I'm full and I can't, and I take it home. Well, it doesn't, <laughs> creme brulee doesn't do well when you take it home. No, because it doesn't. Of, Carbonation of that sugar on the top. Mm. So I'll order play to start my meal, and I'll have that first. <laughs> <laughs> and that way, I'm sure to get in a good bite. <laughs> that sounds like a good I'll... time, Dan. A, a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> People look at me and they go, "Are you sure you want to get?" Oh yeah, I want to make sure that I have my creme brulee tonight. I didn't know that it was on the menu, but I'm getting that first. And <laughs> order right. <laughs> oh my goodness so dad what i wanted to ask you also was how close were you able to stay to your grandfather's original recipe were you able to oh, kind of that's... stay in that perimeter or things a little change in here and oh there? yeah okay yeah that's that, that's the part that's exciting because my 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 uh grandpa hit it on the head mm. he, happy knew what he was doing and he was a really smart individual, as my father is also. But mm -hmm. Pappy knew what he was doing when it came to making whiskey. And I'm telling you, I followed it as close as I could possibly follow it. But then I put some a little mm -hmm. twist on it with some new lab techniques mm -hmm. that I learned that were not available to him back then. But, right. you know, he gave bedrock yeah. of what is in that bottle that you have mm -hmm. sitting there. And that is you know, him, and that's me coming after him and saying, you know, as every generation gets a little bit more wilder and a little bit more crazier, we try to attempt certain things. Well, this I wanted to hold true to everything he is and was and still is to me this day in my heart. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to pay homage to him to thank him for everything that he's done. Yeah. And now that I want him to be proud of me, 
the next two iterations of the 12 and the 20, you're going to see something a little special coming out. You're going to go, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so that's, what, that's, what, that's the more me on the 12 and the 20 because I've got, got a little bit more uh, play in the lab on those two when I'm blending those down. And um, But still, the bedrock is still going to be my grandfather and his original carbon chain formulation. I like that. Definitely loving that. Now, Dan, we were speaking before um, the recording and everything, and you were telling me about how, you know, Triple Dog Irish Whiskey, it's it's making its circulation throughout the U.S. So you told me a little, you know, one of my favorite states, maybe the state that I'm in, is supposed to be next on the list, Dan. Um, yes, uh, the list, of the, you want me to tell you where they're, where it's located right now, where we penetrated in the marketplace here in the United States? Absolutely. Okay, we, well, I'm proud to say that we have a home office here in Texas, so we blanketed the state of Texas first oh. to get everything. And Texas is a tough state because it's actually a four-tier system here as opposed to a three-tier system most of places. Mm. Then we went up to California another large population of whiskey drinkers out there. So we hit California, and normally the distributors either open up no-cal or so-cal and, and then filter it up or down, depending on where they open it up, because to blanket that entire state at once, it takes quite a bit of juice and quite a bit of marketing. Yeah. They loved it. They had so much response such a positive response that they opened up the entire state for us and said, we can't hold this back. We've got orders coming in from north and south. Oh, wow. So let's just go ahead and open up a boat. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was more than what I was expecting. So, um, yeah. But we went out there and we're, we're doing really well out in California. And then um, we come back and we, Colorado ordered it uh, to open up their state. And I was just up there opening up the state of Colorado. Mm. And then Florida, they just took some product down in the state of Florida. So I'll be heading down to Florida here shortly to um, to train a bunch of sales reps and to get uh, that kicked off around the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And then we'll work our way north. Um, and then the next state after that, and I believe it's your home state, is Go Bulldogs. We're yep. coming to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the list. And, and that bottle speaks heavily to the Georgia mm-hmm. Bulldog fans. With mm-hmm. the black and, and the Ugga collar around the neck. I mean, you can't <laughs> deny that at a tailgate pri- uh, pregame. I thought <laughs> that that was such a cute touch. I was like, oh my gosh, it's got the little necklace. Ew, I love it. <laughs> I thought it was so adorable. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a nice touch. Yeah. It is. And we carry that the next couple of iterations too. We carry that but in a in a different way. And if you're gonna see the uniqueness coming out of how this is evolving into something that it's for the people that can say, This is not my father's whiskey, this mm. is my whiskey and embrace it to be my brand that I can take through my next couple generations. Right, right. Wow. So, Dan, let everyone know the best way to get some more information and maybe to follow the journey, you know, of Triple Dog Irish oh, Whiskey. absolutely. Yeah. Please visit us on the website at tripledogwhiskey.com. Um, you can find us there. And if we are not in your state currently, we are online. You can have online purchases through our buy button. And we deliver to 42 states currently. We're working on some more, but we have a 42-state distribution um, outlet with our buy button. So you don't have to wait until it comes to your state. You can go ahead and order it now. And uh, the delivery takes, it depends on where you are, but it won't be but a few weeks or less. Sometimes people get it in three to four days, and sometimes it's two weeks. Um, and there, I think there's multiple discounts for a three-bottle order, and then a six-bottle order gives you another discount. And then we're always running promotions on that site. So with definitely, we'll definitely run some promotions in the Georgia area <laughs> for the kickoff of the Bulldog season. Oh, yeah. So we can everybody tailgating at the Bulldog will uh, be able to bottle there at the uh, tailgate party but um, we do regional um, 
promotions and we also have uh, national promotions but we'll you'll be able to find that on the website at uh, tripledogwhiskey.com sounds like the match dan thank you so much for coming through today we so appreciate you so very Absolutely. Much. <laughs> it's my pleasure for having me. It was wonderful meeting you. Oh. I look forward to coming back and doing an exclusive with you when yes. we launch the uh, 12 and the 21. I wasn't going to say anything about mm-hmm. it today, but I got so excited about <laughs> the way it, how good it tastes that I couldn't hold back any longer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like I said, I love exclusives, Dan. So you gotta. I'm, I'm gonna be tracking you down. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Please keep in mind that anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face. You tell them, "Don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history." That's what we're doing this for. The history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.